Hello you too, this is Gemma Jeff. Love 20 with third part, and this is how to install G apps. And if you had a what's it called a problem, like if you don't if you want G apps, and maybe if you say if you just for example, like here it is. This is the this is the one with G apps. This is the one without G apps. So you can say I have no G apps on here. If you want, like, if you say if you like the Amazon market, but you don't like how Amazon UI is, you can download this and this and download the Amazon apps from there. And you don't need the account, the Amazon account on here because it won't. You you can sign if you download it from the internet browser for like for share some for share. You can get it, but if you want, which I most people would, if you say for example, or you want both. If you want both, then you want to do this way because you need the GX file because you can't just download the GX file like that. But you can see some things can't, need to be changed. Like this is one of them. See the battery icon? It's a circle. It's supposed to be like a icon, but you can easily change that. But in the theme, so it's not going to take no rooting themes or anything. And you can change to this little button that's not supposed to be there. You can just fix that with theme on here without downloading anything so we're gonna download again i'll put the f actual file itself try to into the description and i'll give credit to who person where i got the file from X xda developers post and want to connect the kindle again to here once you connect connect the kindle You can't see like how the Amazon what UI how you can see, so you want to wait until it connects to the. Uh, sorry about that. If you so, if you heard it, I heard some noise, but you want to go to your computer file. Try to if your Kindle did not show up. You can you find your Kindle? I'm just gonna slide this over. Neckward. Find your Kindle. It does come up. But my Kindle is not working right. Because this Kindle once again, I'll tell you the Kindle has charging problems. I hate it. I hate it. And I'm gonna use cable again. Put it in. Oh, we have to turn on USB to bug it. That's why it's not showing up. Then a little. I don't know. How I forget that. So you want to go into uh, tablet, click build number, developer settings there, options. You want to put USB Android debugging. Okay. And Android debugging is enabled and touch disabled. And you want to click OK when, when the other message comes up, and then your Kindle should come up on here. Yep, like so. And this one is named, the name shows up as Google Nexus Kindle. But on here, it says Amazon Kindle Fire. That's what I changed my name to on my Kindle because I want it a little different. So you want to open that again for the third time. Go into internal storage, go to the side. Don't want to take it out because I say it's a desktop. Uh, computer. Put it halfway. I'm just gonna. Sorry for shaking. I'm not using anything or anything. You want to go into downloads again. 
I'm going to delete the other one so you don't get confused if it has an error. If you don't have an error with it, then you don't have to watch this video. You can just exit out of the video. I'm going to delete this video. I just file the G apps again. Are you sure I want to permanently delete? Yes, I do. Okay, so now I'm going to get this one and copy into the folder. Copying the G apps. This is a different one. That was the wrong one. So you want to download everyone. You must watch this video because or you want to skip. Don't just don't say like make just like one video. Just want to get the video. I'll put that file. Don't mind this file because this one I remembered when I did it yesterday. I remember that file was the wrong one. Sorry if I sorry about that. But wait for the file to transfer to the device. This okay. Once it's done, you should see if it comes up on your device, which right there at the bottom, ninety six megabytes. So yes, that is. So now you want to go into your Kindle, disconnect it. We're going to shut down. We're going to reboot it. And we're going to reboot this into recovery. You, know, you want to hold the power button again? Hold it until it says recovery at the bottom. There you go. Oh, I can just shut down for a reason. So hold it until recovery. Recovery. Okay. Oh, that's why. Because it said reset bootloader. Don't hold it too long. Because then it will reset bootloader and you have to do it again. So. And that's a. If you heard that noise, that was that phone. I'm just doing that. Okay, teamwork recovery. You want to put them here. It is. And now you just want to install, find the G apps. Right, that's the right one. And you want to flash it. Installing G apps, Google apps for 4.2.2, which is the correct one. And you can see at the bottom. And once it's done, installing. Cleaning up. And complete. Now we're going to reboot system. And now you have Google Apps. And the next video I'll make, probably not today, because, or tomorrow. I don't know. I'll make another video. And this one will really let you customize. Change your buttons without downloading suit, like, that but they would not the design but like the background you can change the more buttons you can change the color to the backgrounds just black maybe maybe you don't like the black maybe maybe you can change it to transparent or maybe you don't like the status bar or maybe you don't like black the you can change that and maybe, or you don't like the boot animation you don't have to transfer files using the computer you can just there's app there's an app apps on the Play Store I'll show you. On this device itself if you have time I'll show you just one or two things and it's finishing boot and it is upgrading which is not really upgrading it's just there you go now this is loading widget just swipe to unlock now you walk them to your Kindle and then we're just gonna skip skip anyway we're just gonna skip this and we're going to put the current time as, change this time zone to the east time. We're going to say, we're going to change, put the name. I'm not going to move that away. Okay. Set up complete, and we just have to add the Gmail. And if you don't, let's we gonna add account, and we we'll add a Google account there. You just want to set that up, and now I'll show you. You hit the Play Store, 
you have to add the Gmail account. So, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.